Susan Hark from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Susan Hark, born 1945, England, is an English professor of philosophy and law at the University of Miami in the United States. She has written on logic, the philosophy of language, epistemology, and metaphysics. Her pragmatism follows that of Charles Sanders Peirce. Section 1. Career. Hark is a graduate of the University of Oxford and the University of Cambridge. At Oxford, she studied at St. Hilda's College, where her first philosophy teacher was Jean Austen, the widow of J.L. Austen. As an undergraduate, she took politics, philosophy, and economics, and said of her taste for philosophy, initially the politics part was most appealed to me, but somewhere down the line, despite encouragement from my politics tutor to pursue that subject, philosophy took over. She studied Plato with Gilbert Ryle and logic with Michael Dummett. David Pierce supervised her BPhil dissertation on ambiguity. At Cambridge, she wrote her PhD under the supervision of Timothy Smiley. She held the positions of fellow at New Hall, Cambridge, and professor of philosophy at the University of Warwick before taking her current position at the University of Miami. Harker said of her career that she is very independent. Rather than follow philosophical fads and fashions, I pursue questions I believe are important and tackle them in the ways that seem most likely to yield results. I am beholden to no clique or citation cartel. I put no stock in the ranking of philosophy graduate programmes over which my colleagues obsess. I accept no research or travel funds from my university. I avoid publishing in journals that insist on taking all the rights to my work, etc., etc. Naturally, this independence comes at a price, but it also earns me the freedom to do the best work I can, without self-censorship, and to communicate with a much wider audience than the usual niche literature does. Section 2. Ideas. Hark's major contribution to philosophy, in the 1993 book Evidence Inquiry, is her epistemological theory called Foundherentism, which is her attempt to avoid the logical problems of both pure foundationalism, which is susceptible to infinite regress, and pure coherentism, which is susceptible to circularity. She illustrates this idea with the metaphor of the crossword puzzle. A highly simplified version of this proceeds as follows. Finding an answer using a clue is analogous to a foundational source grounded in, in empirical evidence. Making sure that the interlocking words are mutually sensible is analogous to justification through coherence. Both are necessary components in the justification of knowledge. At least one scholar has claimed that Hark's foundationalism collapses into foundationalism upon further inspection. Hark has been a fierce critic of Richard Rorty. She wrote a play, We Pragmatists, Person Rorty in Conversation, consisting entirely of quotes from both philosophers. She performed the role of Peirce. Hark pu published a vigorous essay in The New Criterion, taking strong exception to many of Rorty's views, especially his claim to be a sort of pragmatist. Hark is highly critical of the view that there is a feminine perspective on logic and scientific truth. She holds that many feminist critiques of science and philosophy are overly concerned with political correctness. She has written for Free Inquiry magazine and the Council for Secular Humanism. Hark's work has been reviewed and cited in the popular press, such as the Times Literary Supplement, as well as in academic journals. Section 3. Memberships. Hark is an honorary member of Phi Beta Kappa Society and Phi Kappa Phi, a past president of the Charles S. Peirce Society and a past member of the U.S.-U.K. Educational Commission. Section 4. Select Writings by Hark. 1974, Deviant Logic, Cambridge University Press. 1978, Philosophy of Logics. 1977, with Constantin Kalenda. Two Fallibilists in Search of the Truth, Proceedings of the Aristotelian Society, 51. 1993, Evidence and Inquiry. 1996, Deviant Logic, Fuzzy Logic, Beyond the Formalism. The University of Chicago Press extends the 1974 Deviant Logic with some additional essays published between 1973 and 1980, particularly on Fuzzy Logic. Compare with the Philosophical Review, 107 1997, Vulgar Rortyism, The New Criterion. 1998, Manifesto of a Passionate Moderate, Unfashionable Essays. 
2003, Defending Science Within Reason, Between Scientism and Cynicism. 2005, Trial and Error, The Supreme Court's Philosophy of Science in the American Journal of Public Health. 2006, edited with Robert Lane, Pragmatism Old and New. 2008, Putting Philosophy to Work, Inquiry and Its Place in Culture. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at http://creativecommons.org/slash licenses/slash by/dash sa/slash 3.0.